If you've been following Foodie Beauty, then you're well aware of the Chantal cycle. Stage 1 is the weight loss attempt stage, followed by stage 2, the breakdown, then stage 3, the binge, and then finally the last stage, the awakening, which starts the cycle all over again. Since in Kuwait, we've seen this cycle repeat many times. This video is a compilation of the cycling with dates. So sit back and enjoy the Chantal cycle, the Kuwaiti arc. Hey guys, welcome back to my first vlog on this health journey. With my faith in God and prayer and just continually saying no to myself when I want to cave, I think, you know, I just have to get ahead a bit and uh, then I'll be then I'll be in a better place. I've been on this journey type of thing many, many times. And each time I appreciate you having new faith in me and, and coming along for the ride. Um, even if you're critical, you know, I don't blame you. I have a lot of trouble sticking to things. And this is where I would like to really develop my character more and be more disciplined, have more self-discipline. Um, learning the art of um, delaying gratification. It's about weight loss as well which is tied into health, but it's also about other things I'd like to cure health-wise. Um, some in hormonal imbalance and things like that, correcting with more natural food. So I'm just planning on eating a lot of um, less fat, less bad fat, um, because I don't have a gallbladder, so that's very unhealthy, especially on my liver. You know, my liver has to work overtime, um, to make up for the uh, emulsifying of fats that the gallbladder would do. So, you know, getting healthy should be exciting. It's a whole new life I've never experienced and um, I don't think I can do it, so I have to prove to myself I can. I'm gonna be doing a water fast. So, fasting I have been doing a lot of research off and on, watching a lot of videos, um, reading a lot of articles, like medical articles, about the benefits of fasting, some of which include, uh, but fasting combined with prayer is just obviously, you know, potential for spiritual growth is amazing. Basically fasting with only water allows your body to completely reset itself. So there's something called autophagy. Um, so autophagy is when you don't feed your body food to digest, it starts eating um, all of the debris in your body. Don't attempt what I'm doing unless you have clearance from your doctor. I don't have clearance from a doctor, but I know that I've done it before and I know I can do it again. I had to get past that obsession with food and reset my entire body because even eating things in moderation that are hyper palatable and sugar, it's called a pleasure trap. I'm just planning on doing this on my own and with, with you guys, of course, whoever's left to support me because I know that it just seems like another irrational, erratic, crazy, um, impulsive idea. I don't think that eating food like, who am I kidding? I'm kidding myself. Well, like, cheesecake in moderation, lasagna in moderation. I don't think that's realistic as I thought in a way when it comes to health, when it comes to resetting my palate, getting rid of that, that those urges to eat those bad foods. I've been listening to um, testimonies of people who've done it, I've been listening to doctors who believe in it and, and the benefits of it, and it keeps me going. I'm going to let the proof be in my videos. I'm going to vlog uh, every day my progress. I'm going to weigh in every day. I feel like I need a system reset because I'm just too addicted to food at this point. And I think that this is a very, um, it's like a new start, a fresh start. I've never refreshed my body and fully given it a break from eating. And I think that there's 
there's going to be a lot to learn in this. It's also going to teach me self-discipline and persistence and willpower. I'm going to be exercising my willpower as well. So I really want to do this. I hope that you guys will be on board with me. I'm hoping that I won't even crave those foods at the end of this. I'll just start craving once I refeed my body healthy food. That's what I'll want. And everything else will just seem too salty and sugary and blah, blah, blah. I think that um, anyone will believe me. <laughs> and, you know, I just have to believe in myself. That's all, you know? So, um... There won't be any mukbangs for a while. <laughs> when I start eating again, I will do a lot of cooking and meal prep videos because I have to get into the habit of that. This will be like a whole new life for me. This will be um, so many, so beneficial in so many ways. I'm going to try reading more of the Quran, um, just listening to more stories about su success stories from weight loss and stuff like that. So. Well, hello there. I know, okay? You can say I'm a failure. I told you so. Get it all out of your system now. Let me just explain. Let me tell you, obviously I'm eating again, and I'll tell you why in a minute. It's very dramatic. So, my cutlery. So, I think I almost passed away last night. Listen, I came to a harsh realization, okay? When I did my five day water fast, that was like what, five to six years ago? My body's changed. My body has completely changed since then. I don't think it can handle a 40 day water fast. I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't. I don't know like if I have a personality disorder, I'm being honest. But I think the most realistic way for me to lose any weight, which is also going to be good for my health, um, is to do what I've been doing, just counting calories for now. Um... Hello, my name is Foodie Beauty, aka Chantal Marie Olive Soro Miriam El Refai. And I have binge eating disorder. As many times as, as I've heard myself say on this channel, that I have a binge eating disorder. This is like the first time that I actually realize what that kind of sort of means more than ever. I realize that I cannot fight this alone. I need support and that it's a very serious mental illness. It's not just about losing weight and that a diet cannot fix this. It's like my brain doesn't learn, like my brain goes through a cycle. We all know what my cycle is because people have illustrated online, people make fun of it, and I know I'm going to get made fun of for this video. I just feel like I'm just drowning, you know? So I realize I can't do this alone, so I'm going to be looking for resources to help me even if I have to do it online. And maybe some nutritional counseling. Um, I might even make a support group. There's gonna be days in these diaries where I'm not probably doing too well, but I'm gonna always be honest. And I think it's important for me to, to do this and focus this, make this the main focus of my life because I can't do anything else until this is fixed. So I have to do it. You know, I want to, I want to, live a long, happy, healthier life and not worrying about food every second of the day. I'd also like to help people with my content and I hope that does occur. Before I even start eating, this is not a binge, this is a meal from Taco Bell. This is the quesadilla and fiesta potatoes and I got a mojito. Not sure what that is. Oh, cool. Has mint and lime in the soda. I'm um, actually working on not binge eating. So that's my first step. Let's try these potatoes. I'm not on a diet. 
I know people say this is not diet food. <laughs> no, I'm not on a diet. Right now, I'm just working on not binging. So my weight is just creeping and creeping. Um, that's why I just wanted to do a weight update with you guys. So it's no surprise that I've been struggling with my weight and keeping my eating under control and just letting everything, you know, collapse. I'm gonna try again uh, to get back on track. Um, even though I'm not on track for very long, I'm gonna try again and again. And I'm going to um, really uh, watch what I eat. Because like I said, um, have a bit of a health scare with uh, some of my numbers. So I do really, really want to um, reduce that, especially my blood pressure. I'm hoping that with continuing the light exercise for now and uh, eating, staying away from really salty fried foods, which for somebody who loves pickles and cheese, that's really bad news. I really, really, really um, have to value my life over pickles and cheese. I mean, you know, it's it's time. Uh, you know, because it goes without saying, you know, no no type of food is worth your life, and that's that's a hundred percent true. These are problems that if left untreated and not acknowledged, um, they can be fatal in the long term. I just, I really obviously don't want that. I have a lot I want to do in my life. I'm starting to feel like I have kind of a cabin fever of my own body. Like I feel trapped and I just want to be let out and just be able to do a lot of things that I can't do now. So. work out and I'm going to do 10 minutes um, on the machines here in our building. Oh, it's really hard on the legs. <laughs> Hi guys, so I am feeling really like I set up everything to try to do some like walking in place. You know how like YouTube has those like walking in place videos? <sighs> Well, I feel really dizzy and like I realize how out of shape I am. Really, I'm just over it. Um, and exercising in like full covered, you know, my head covered and everything just to do it on camera. I seriously just want to cry right now. I don't feel like I can do this. I feel really dizzy and I feel like I should exercise at first uncovered, um, even like, you know, maybe some sitting exercises at first because I get tired very easily and it's also, uh, you know, I feel depressed because I realize in these moments how, um, you know, how much work I have to do on myself and I don't want to do it. I'm getting up there in age. I'm 39. I could be living a very active, happier life. Healthier. You know, healthy. health is happiness for sure. Um, you can't enjoy life if you're not healthy. I, mean, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. I mean, I'm, I'm probably just going to do this list here. <laughs> you know, um, lose weight. Um, I need to be consistent with light exercise, even if it's just walking in the evening, because that will get cardiovascular system going, metabolism going. It's just healthy. So I need to start and I need to really, really, really put effort into it. And when the going gets tough, I just have to get through it. I want to have some kind of online support system. I want everyone who's struggling as well to come together and uh, try to do this. My health is not good. You know, I have sleep apnea, I use a CPAP machine, I have high blood pressure, I have diabetes, 
they say it takes 21 days, right, to build good habits if you're consistent. So that's what I just need to do. There's food, which is my biggest escape, my biggest comfort. And if I take those away, I feel like I'm raw dogging life. Going through life is going to be boring. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be, you know, and I just, I know that eventually it will get better. I need to just try to get addicted to healthier habits. Tomorrow is hopefully going to be turning a new leaf. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna try harder than I've ever, ever tried. I have to, I'm, I'm scared by what I'm seeing. I don't know. It's probably still not enough, you know, for me to to be ready to do this. Um, the thing is, I'll never be ready. I'm waiting to be ready. I'll never be ready. I, I never, ever want to go through the discomfort of having to change. So today is going to be a video that's going to make you roll your eyes and probably freak out in the comments, <laughs> but um, I think I want to try this before I do anything else. I did my mukbang video, the diet food yesterday, and then I have been water fasting. <sighs> Yeah, for over 24 hours now. So I'm going to see how far I can go. I want to give my system a break. I'm honestly afraid to eat anything at this point because of how it affects my blood pressure, of how it affects my, my blood sugar levels. When I go back to eating, I'm going to be doing, you know, clean food, low carb, um, that kind of thing. I think that it's it's going to be good for me to to do the fasting. Also another thing about fasting that's really beneficial for health is it depletes the glycogen stores in your liver and you know I have fatty liver disease so um, it will eat up all of that so all of that stuff in my liver so I know that fasting is taboo still a bit and people are skeptical so I don't blame you you're allowed your opinion that's fine um, but I'm gonna see how it goes. Welcome back to another video. So, yes, I am eating something because let me tell you, let me tell you what happened last night. Anyway, my fasting, I couldn't sleep. I could not sleep. I've had the worst pain in my stomach and the worst headache, and I know that's the detox symptoms. But like, I'm like, I have to eat something. So last night I was craving oranges. So I had an orange sliced up and um, a piece of like, piece of soft cheese, the squares. And this is bad though. I had a package of noodles. The A1C was 10, so I think 10.1, so that's pretty high. I have to get that down. So um, they did diagnose me with diabetes, like officially. I'm supposed to be like living up my life, you know, because I'm not getting any younger and when I get too old, I you know, won't be able to do any of these things. So I want to do things now. So I have to focus on my health journey and has to happen so I think if I ate something really bad for me I would feel so guilty and scared of what it's doing to my body now that I've seen the doctor because you know of the the salt and the urine thing and more organ damage and my blood sugar like they were like alarmed at my blood sugar level <laughs> He's like, that's your blood sugar with fasting? Um, I'm gonna try not to cry, but I'm in a really um, weird mood. Um, I'm so depressed. I just feel so apathetic. I, I don't care about anything right now. Like, I don't care about anything. 
It's like the only thing in my life that I feel that makes me happy is food. And I know that to get better and live a longer life, I have to change drastically. And dealing with the emotions that I have because of that um, is so uncomfortable that I just don't feel like I can, sometimes I don't feel like I can do it or that I want to do it. When I feel like this, I feel like I just want to be passive in life and not fight and just lay down and just not fight. I just don't really care. I just don't care about anything. I just feel really tired of everything, fed up. It's like gonna be so much hard work. No, I shouldn't probably be eating this, but I'm gonna anyways, starting my life. I'm having soba and I'm having beef because I haven't had beef since the do doctor told me not to. And I'm like, whatever, I'm rebelling today because, you know, I'm hungry for it. So I thought in this video, I would just kind of tell you a bit about like, you know, how I've been eating to keep from binge eating, which I've been successfully binge free since coming home. Basically, um, I have done a lot of research in the past when it comes to recovering from binge eating disorder and mainly I would watch videos, I read a couple of books, I read The Binge Code, um, there's Brain Over Binge, there's different um, books out there and literature and videos of people who have overcome their binge eating and a lot of it involves eating every few hours um, so that you don't get that that hunger creeping in where you your mind starts going to those cravings and that you know that autopilot kicks in and you just want to eat everything in sight so and the key uh, I found to uh, a lot of the time that I saw like similarities between these people um, in recovery was that a lot of them would eat very substantial um, little mini meals. So what I'm trying to do is prepare meals, um, not skipping meals, but preparing meals that are satisfying, healthy, and have a bit of everything in them to satisfy pretty much every single craving that will come up, you know, and try to trigger me into binge eating. I'm trying to not diet, not um, adapt a restrictive diet because that will just not last. Any diet I've tried to do, just I end up just binging double time. So I'm trying to make this like a lifestyle change, a healthy lifestyle change. I want my channel to be meaningful to people who are going through similar things that I am. I don't want my channel to be negative anymore. I don't want it to be um, trivial. I don't want it to just be, you know, that kind of thing. I want it to like, I, I want it, I want to go in the direction of something kind of meaningful and try my best, you know, to help people. And I have a long way to go, I know, but you know, I have to start somewhere. Um, we can all be in this together. We can all support each other. And uh, yeah, so that's my ultimate goal with everything. All in all, I'm just focusing on being binge free because that is the thing that has mostly been very detrimental to my health is that over consumption of you know multiple calories at once um, probably thousands of calories at once and in order to do that my method is um, learning from the experience of others and also doing what they do in eating frequent meals throughout the day to avoid binges. I kissed every ball.